Hello and welcome to Let's Play Monaco, What's Yours is Mine, with your host as always, Madrai Bread, and returning special guest co-host, Brandon WarZero. Hey! We're going to be doing a two-person co-op Let's Play of all of Monaco with the Enhanced Edition, so we're going to be doing every campaign, prologue, finale, everything. Not on zombie mode, though, because we're not insane. And if you haven't already seen the prelude video, which runs over what the game is, that is one video earlier in the playlist. Playlist is, of course, both on screen and in the description. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to start your own private lobby, because it's not very self-explanatory. So we're starting with the locksmith story in the prison break. You hit X to go to the lobby, X again to create your own lobby, set it to however many players you want, and set it to private. Then when you're on the character select screen, X again. Invite a friend, and any second now... Oh, right, sorry, forgot you had to turn, sign yourself in on the friends thing, of course. That's yep. my bad. And then, you can invite Godfrey. Although, that's just me inviting him, you don't necessarily have to look for Godfrey, or else that'd be weird. And now we go offline again. You can go offline once they're in so you don't get annoyed by pop-ups constantly during your Let's Play. So you start with the first five or the first four characters of Locksmith, Lookout, Pickpocket, and Cleaner now. Um, for the sake of this first stage, I'm just gonna go Pickpocket. And I'm going Cleaner. Alright. Alright, prison break for the first mission. Alright. Now, we're not going to speedrun this, although there is an achievement for beating this incredibly quickly. We don't have enough people to do that, really, anyway. You can do it with two, it's just really hard. Yeah, I think people have done it with one. And these people up here just tell you it's the extended edition. Are you reading it or me? Dear Mom and Dad, Life as a Prison Guard has been pretty boring. Mainly, I spend all night just staring at my computer, hoping for something exciting to happen. But that day never comes. So I'm relegated to babysitting, drunks, debtors, and thieves. While my buddies, in the force, are chasing the real crim criminals. They all make fun of me. They call me White Shirt, and because I don't carry a gun, they say that I'm a second-rate law enforcement officer. Sigh! How are you? How's the cheese farm? Give my love to Estelle and milk a cow for me. Love, your White Shirt son, Pierre. Postscript. I'm still having nightmares about Billy. I can't believe you flushed him down the toilet. Why is he typing in English? This is Monaco. Maybe his parents are English. Maybe. And they just named him Pierre so he'd fit in. But he still didn't fit in. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we can pretty safely say we can get all the gold on this mission with zero effort. Yep. Alright, let's rip out the power. I wonder what would happen if you modded this so that you could use the, uh, so that you could use the, what's it called, the mole here and dig through that wall. I'd be interested in seeing the layout of the rest of that. Yeah. Maybe it's like a, like a secret. Like yeah, literally probably. a secret in the game. Yeah, are chasing you, break their line of sight. Really. Thanks, tip from other guy. Alright, we can get around this guy easy. Give him the run around. These early stages will have things on the ground that say where to go. Yoink. You got the middle room, right? Alright. Well, yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay. Come on. There we go. He's coming. Do it. Yeah. Cleaned out. That's for if you get all the gold. And of course, every ten pieces of gold you get, you get one ammunition for whatever your item is. Oh, that actually took us a long time. Yeah.
All right. So on the next episode, we go into hijack at the hairpin, where we continue to try to break out and escape the law. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.